daughter, Dr. Medina Pullins. God is so faithful. He is so faithful tonight. And I am so honored to be here tonight and knowing that the presence of Jesus is here. And I have to correct that. I'm sorry. Knowing that the presence of my Jesus, my Jesus is here. My Jesus is here. I feel his presence. And I say it all the time that I think we've forgotten that Jesus is Lord. He's not a by Lord. He is Lord. He is the Lord. He's a ruler of everything. He's, he's a master of everything. He's a reacher and the preacher and the teacher. He's an awesome, awesome, awesome God. And the word of the Lord is divine tonight. The presence of the Lord is divine. I said it last night and it bears to be repeated. I don't do favors in this hour. If I find myself standing in a pulpit to preach or in a sanctuary, it's because I'm divinely given that order by my Father. And I came to glorify and defend my Jesus. That's what I'm doing now. I'm defending. I'm defending my Jesus. He done took a hit and I'm defending him. That he's still Lord and Savior. He's still a miracle worker. He's still the God that if you just, if you just call him by his name, he satisfies. So we're preparing in the atmosphere to, to see what it is he has to say to us tonight. And as you lift your hands up in his presence, there's a song that I always play when I feel it and it moves my spirit. And for my God, thank you, Jesus. Everybody lift your hands up. Oh, he is Lord. Hallelujah. Lord.
you may be seated in his presence. That is the reminder that he is asking us to make our central focus. And that is Jesus Christ is Lord and he's savior and he is redeemer and healer and way maker. Last night, I did not uh, go to bed until probably about maybe four o'clock in the morning. And I was tossing and turning because last night I, I wanted to give you a reverse, a reverse word sort of when my string, when the tassel, when the hem of my robe came off in the midst of the praise and how the scripture said that and when when Saul had disobeyed the word of the Lord, he reached for Samuel's, reached for Samuel's hymn, and the Bible said he tore it. And I, I was going through in my head last night, I said, God, what are you trying to say? He said, I wanted the people of God to experience my presence to the place that I wanted it to be ripped from you. He said, tell them that they got it because the power of God ripped it from me. And everything that people were reaching for last night, God did some supernatural things that they will hear about in six days. In six days. If you were in this building last night, in six days, you will hear of the miraculous in your life. You will hear of the miraculous in your life. And somebody just... Somebody just praising God like that, and they're just saying, Lord, Lord, I thank you, amen, amen. And I, and I think it's because we've gotten to a place in the body of Christ that we don't even believe in signs and wonders. We don't even believe in the miraculous. We don't even understand the operation of Jesus. We don't even know that he's still alive and well. And if he speaks something, it's not that I'm going to do it, it's already done. And the Bible said that, that, that we're to come to a place that we do not read the scripture as if we're studying, but we read the scripture as if it is a prophetic word from God. And so when God speaks a word, it is our responsibility to grab that word in the moment that he speaks it. Because that word is coming in on the hem of a power and a presence. And in that presence, it has the capacity to penetrate Anything that you are dealing with and annihilate the works of the devil and cause you to stand in instant victory and you haven't even left the building. I'm just trying to find out who I came to preach to. Tell somebody before I even leave the building tonight, he gonna do it. Oh, you saying that like you almost mean it. You saying it like you almost mean it, but I'm telling you, I said, tell your neighbor before I leave the building, is going to already be done because he's doing it now. Tell somebody he's doing it now. He's doing it now. Right this minute. It ain't no delay in the Holy Ghost. The delay is in the church, but ain't no delay in the Holy Ghost. Somebody better give God a praise in here. See, we don't understand that when miracles drop, miracles don't need time. Miracles don't need time. Miracles need an opportunity. And when the opportunity comes, it could be in the beginning of the message. It can be now. You're waiting for something to happen 20 minutes from now. And I'm telling you that something is happening now. God is just looking for somebody to reach for it. 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 Reach for it. No, you waving your hand, but you ain't reaching out of the spirit. My God from Zion. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. And I don't do that 
I don't do that, that, that lame uh, touch your neighbor stuff, that lame. Because if I tell you to touch your neighbors, because God is telling me to tell you to tell your neighbor something. And, I, and, I, and look, I just heard in the spirit, touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I just want you to be careful because I'm getting ready to get a miracle. And I know it. And there's a certain praise that's got to come out of me if I'm going to get a miracle. There's a certain shout that's got to come out of me if I'm going to produce a miracle. There's a well that's got to come up out of my belly because I came here tonight because I'm desperate. I came tonight because I'm desperate. And if you ain't desperate, you sitting next to the wrong person. So your neighbor ain't got time for church. I 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 need the Holy Ghost. I need, I need the Holy Ghost. I need the Holy Ghost. Ah, Jesus. Sit down and go to the scripture with me. I need the Holy Ghost. That's what they've been telling me lately, that the church got the Holy Spirit, but we done lost the Holy Ghost. I need the Holy Ghost. I need something that will quicken my mortal body. I need something that would quicken my understanding. And I was to die. I need something that would grab a hold to my mind and convince me that I already got the victory. I already, I already got the victory. I'm already free. I'm already healed. All the way is already made. Yeah. Tell your neighbor I gotta praise him in advance. I gotta praise him. Ha <laughs> yabo You look around this building. Sister Sandra, I think I see Jesus. Tell your neighbor I got to praise him in advance because I think I see Jesus. The Bible said while Jesus was passing through the town, the woman that had the issue of blood, she reached out and grabbed him. Tell your neighbor I think I see Jesus moving. I think I see Jesus moving. And while he is walking up and down the aisles, you better reach out and grab him. You better, you better reach out and grab him. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Let me, let me do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I see ya. I see Jesus. See, in order for us to, to understand the operation of the miraculous, I feel something in this building tonight. In order for us to understand the operation of the miraculous, we cannot only try to believe it with our minds. <laughs> the brain, let me just, if you will just allow me to give you this little information. The brain is an information center. It is a, it is a message carrier. The brain receives messages and the brain sends messages. That's why the scripture said whatsoever, watch this, whatsoever a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, because in order for there to be a manifestation of something different, the thought has to come from the heart and not the mind. Because if the thought came from the mind, we would be 16,000 people in one day because that's how often we receive messages in the mind. And so the, listen, so the mind had been created to receive a message, send that message to the heart. And if that heart disagrees, the heart sends it back to the mind and the mind cancels it out. Oh, y'all, I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. I just, I just said something right there. I just said something right there. Now the reason why the heart cancels it out, Sister Sandra, is because that's not the mind of my heart. What just came to my head is not the mind of my heart because
because when my heart tells me that I have been set free and the thought comes that says I'm bound, I have the power to praise him anyhow. No, I don't spend time casting out the devil. I praise God because it's ignorant to even pay any attention to it. It's not the thought of my not the thought of my heart. Is it, is it, let me help you. Let me help you with. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Another tassel just fell off. Somebody better give God a praise. I said, I said, it almost turned out my higher. It almost turned out. Hey. Somebody better give him a praise right now. Somebody better give him a praise right now. Somebody better bless his name. Because what God is doing in this building, it's not in this building. He's doing it around the world. There's a shift taking place. The power has been taught. You all better give God a step like you done lost your mind. Because I don't care what you've been praying for. It just got answered. Somebody. See, the reason why, the reason why, the reason why I just stopped the music, because I'm not used to it. Hey, about Sunday, because God didn't birth my praise with an organ. He didn't birth my praise with a piano. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. I give the Holy Ghost said that the church better learn how to birth your praise up through your issue. You better learn how to dig in your belly and bring God a praise that will cause the gates of hell to shift and break. Sit down, sit down for a second. Sit down for a second. A match in the spirit. Hi, Osha. Baby, come here. Sit right there. Bring your stuff, you. Uh -huh. Oh, that's my You too. The other lady over there. On the other side. You. you, come here. Sit right here. Move over there. Oh, my God. Oh, baby, I see you. I kept seeing you in the spirit today. And I'm a higher, a transference today. Will be a shire. And that Somebody in the building. He said a transfer. He said a transfer. He said the place you've been trying to get you in the spirit realm. He gonna shift you in it tonight. Yeah. Somebody give God a shout. Somebody give him a shout. A match in the spirit. Sit down. A match in the spirit. Let's deal with that, baby, right there in the brown. Can I preach to you for about five minutes? Okay, a match in the spirit. He says, he says, he says, the doctors, the medical doctors have proven that the heart is formulated before the brain, before the mind. Listen to this. Thank you, Jesus. And so, when the heart is formulated before the brain is created, when the baby is born, it comes into the world with only 50% of its intelligence. So watch this. And God fixed it to be so. He fixed it to be so. Because what the Lord's intent was, son, is that the heart always have the power. That the heart would always have the power. 
Now I said something powerful right there. And, 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 and son, maybe somebody didn't get that. What people don't understand is that the reason why you still exist is because the heart got the power. I'm not hearing nobody say something. When your head said you wanted to kill yourself, the heart, the heart overruled you. When your head said, I don't think I can make it no more, the heart, y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. I wish somebody would open up your mouth and say something into that day. You better be glad that you had a Jesus to come into your heart. You better be glad that God gave you the new heart. You better be glad that you possess it. A match in the spirit. Listen at this. Listen at this. Listen at this. A match in the spirit. So he takes me. Watch. He said, "No, you don't read the Bible like it's a like it's a study. It's a scripture." He said, "When you read the Bible, I'm prophesying to you." And I said, "God, what do you mean you prophesying to me? Because some stuff." I read and it don't make no sense. He said, but because my heart has a mind, I already know what's up the road and around the corner. So I preach, I preach, get you ready. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. I put the word in you because, listen, 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 because you're not gonna ever be caught off surprise. I put the word in you. So when the Bible said, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, not a feeling, not a feeling, but the power and the spirit that is in his word lifts up a standard against the enemy. Watch this. Watch this. So, what are you talking about? Lift up a stand. He said, I took Ezekiel up in the spirit. He said, What did you see? He said, I took him up and I showed him. Watch this. Water coming from under the door of the sanctuary. I said, What? He said it came around the feet and then the ankles and then the knees and then the loins. And then he said, it's going to make sense in a minute. It was too much water for me to swim in. He said, then the water came down and the water emptied itself over in the Jordan. And when it mixed itself with the Jordan, it emptied out into the sea. And when the water hit the sea, everything that was in the sea that was dead, that was putrid, that had been wasted away, said, it came back to life. That's when God said we're going to have to raise up, up the anointing in the house of God because the water, y'all ain't hearing me, the water got a dam, the water got a dam, the water got a dam because everybody want to be somebody. The water got a dam because everybody got their own kingdom. The water got a dam. There's a blockage from the, from the real sanctuary. So the people, watch this, are not seeing the moving of the spirit because there's a water dam up. Wait, 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 watch this, watch this. Well, what, what sense does that make, man? What, a water dam, what, a water, a water dam, what, what's so important about that? Because resurrection can't take place and it said, watch this, not only would it come back to life, but because of it, there will be new fish. And when the fish join themselves together, they will begin to produce. No, you don't understand something. That's why the devil watches it. That's why he hates it. He hates it when he finds unity. He hates it. He hates it. You can watch this. Whenever God tells the whole church to praise God, the devil loves it when some of y'all sit there with your legs crossed like God ain't talking to you. Because the enemy knows that, that until we stand shoulder to shoulder, power to power, praise to praise, we just have in church, but we're not producing anything. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I bet if this gonna make sense to you in a minute. Y'all, y'all, sit, sit down, because I don't want to get ahead of myself. Thank you, Jesus. It's gonna make sense to you in a minute. He said, 
I just heard the Holy Ghost say, I just passed out new tongues. I just passed out new tongues. He said, because the tongue that you needed to tear down the wall of the enemy, he said, you didn't have it. He said, but something else just dropped in this building. And in three days, if you don't speak in it tonight, it's going to hit you in your car. It's going to hit you in your house. But the Lord said, there's a new birthing that just took place in your prayer life. Somebody. Hey. Somebody give God a shout. Watch this. Watch this. He said, when this gonna be, this gonna make sense in a minute. So, why is it, why is it that, that when the waters flow down from heaven's sanctuaries, heaven's sanctuaries, not, not the church, but from the temple of the Lord. Watch this. Which means one of us can cause a Holy Ghost flood. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't get nobody to say nothing. I said, I said, one of us can cause a Holy Ghost flood because the Bible said, now you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. I'm not getting nobody. He said, I'm just looking for a temple that I can flow this water out of. I'm looking for a temple that knows that in the water there are miracles. I'm looking for a temple that knows that in the waters there is no failure in God. I'm her second. Her stubborn. Her terrible shape. I'm looking for a temple that knows that I'm still God. I'm still God. I'm still God. Oh, shut. He said, he said, watch this. But why is this going to make sense to us? What, what sense does this make? Because he said, it flowed down to the Jordan. So now I know why. This is what he showed me. He said, you want to see you want to see it open. You want to see it open. He said, go to Elisha and watch how I thought it was a story of. Elisha. Elisha following Elijah. And God said, that's where everybody's stuck at with me in that story. That Elisha followed Elijah and he. And he got the double portion and, and the mantle fell and, and then he went and when he got ready to cross over, watch this, <laughs> when he got ready to cross over, he took the mantle and um, he said, the double portion anointing shall you have. Now, now, why is it that the waters parted when Elisha struck the waters? Whew. Because he was a prophet and the prophetic operation was in him. And when he struck the waters, he struck the waters that had the heaven's waters emptied down in it. So that water could not disobey the prophetic word. I'm not hearing y'all. And God said, when the people of God get all y'all, get your heart unplugged, get the heart of Jesus up and let the water flow. Everything you touch go turn to gold. Everything you put your hands on is going to have to move at your command man because because I'm 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 prophesying wait I'm prophesying I'm prophesying but the spirit that I'm prophesying out of is the water that came from the sanctuary I'm not hearing y'all what I got in me it poured 
down out of the Jordan into the sea where God came and found us into the sea where the devil said we will never be nothing we will never be no good who am I preaching to found wait so a match wait so what so what does I got to do with anything what 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 does I got to do with us what does it have to do with us? What, what, what does that have to do with us? Now I understand. He said, now turn to Ezekiel 32. You can read it when you get home. It's in there. He said, the enemy, has raised himself up to be a big monster. Y'all ain't like saying that. I'm not hearing y'all. The thing that you fight against has raised itself up to be a big monster. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It says that this enemy has stepped his foot in the waters and turned the believers posterity and their prosperity. Which means what's hindering my prosperity and my posterity. Which means the blessings for generations to come is because of the enemy got his feet in my waters. Y'all better come over here. He said the enemy got his feet in your waters and that is the reason why Jesus had to come and the Bible says he had to go down by the Jordan he had to be baptized up because when Jesus stepped his feet up in the water it reversed the curse you better give God a shout everything that the devil have done go in and reverse you better give God a shout you better give God a shout reverse reverse we won! Uh-uh, uh, 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 sit down, cuz. Uh-uh, sit down. Sit down, cuz some, somebody didn't hear that. Some, somebody didn't hear that. Jesus was Lord. Jesus was of the Spirit. He didn't need to be baptized. But his feet had to go in that Jordan. Y'all ain't saying nothing. The word. Hey! Oh, shall I go see ya? The word had to stick his feet in the water, in the spirit. If you read your Bible and you ain't in the spirit, ain't nothing gonna happen. Just three people said you need the spirit. Tell three people say you need the spirit. Tell three people say you need the spirit. Tell them get the Holy Ghost again. T tell them get it again. No, y'all ain't hear me. Don't be ashamed to tell them. Tell them say neighbor, ask the Lord for the Holy Ghost again. Ask him for the Holy Ghost afresh. Hashem they may show you. Ask the Lord to give you the Holy Ghost again. Hashem I show you. Tell your neighbor say neighbor. When you go home, put your life on the seeker's bench. When you go home, drop your title up. When you go home, as the heart panted after the water brook, so does my soul. After, after the. Uh, uh, Why y'all look at a minute? I said, wait a minute. I spoke something. And this thing was supposed to happen when I spoke it. What's wrong? Wait a minute. It's been two days that I ain't seen nothing. Let me check my water. Let me check my water. Let me check my water. I'm not hearing y'all. Let me check my water. Let me check and see if the word got his feet in it. But see, what you don't understand is that the Bible said this. In Ezekiel, the 32nd chapter, it said that God was going to take people. He said, I'm going to pick up. I promise you it's in there. He said, what I'm getting ready to do to the enemy. Woo! This is a prophecy tonight. What I'm getting ready to do to the enemy. I'm going to put him in a drag net. Y'all ain't saying that. And he said, but I need some people to help me drag him. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. He said, I'm going to drag him right out of your life. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. I 
hear the Lord saying, uh, if we would just praise him, uh, just on that word, uh, he would drop a neck over the enemy's head uh, and he would drag him up, uh, drag him up. Uh, tell your neighbor, uh, my praise tonight, uh, it's got to drag the enemy up. Uh, somebody, uh, give God a praise. Uh, praise him out of your spirit. 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 Uh, help, praise him. I gotta drag him, I gotta drag him. I got Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to. <laughs> Y'all praising God. Like I said, the Lord is going to bless you. That ain't what I said. I said, let me make it plain. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Y'all think I'm playing, but I'm just going to say it because God told me to say it. He getting ready to take your life back in reverse. And the place where the devil cut you off, that's where the Lord gave me to jumpstart you again. Somebody better get caught to praise. No, y'all better praise him. He said the place where the devil cut you off, the place where he tricked your mind, the place where he stole from you, the place where he robbed you of your place in God. I hear the Lord say it up. I'm reversing the curse. Up. I'm restoring back up to you everything that the cake worm, that the power worm has eaten up. Be restored. Be restored. Be released. Y'all looking at me. Somebody better praise him. Wait. Wait. Uh uh. Sit down. Sit down. Y'all. Y'all sit down because I got to look at some of y'all. Hot old shot. Hot old shit. I got to look at some of y'all. I told the Lord. I told the Lord two weeks ago. Rhonda, I said, God, every last one of my children that's out there, bring them back to me. Everyone you gave me. Everyone I breathed out. Time is up. Bring them back. You don't get what I'm saying. I said, restoration is in the atmosphere. I said, if you praise them, you will see God do what you ain't never see him do in your life somebody shout y'all sit down y'all sit down I gotta do this y'all sit down somebody some of y'all still sitting there with that little religious praise. Look at your neighbor and said, neighbor, said, neighbor, what is it that you want back? What place, what place do you want back? What position do you want back in God? Then tell your neighbor, did you just hear what the prophet said? That's not one need to pine them up. That's the Holy Ghost telling you, I need you to help God drag the enemy out of your life. Somebody shout your ass. Shout your ass. Come on here, saints. Give him a praise. All in that balcony. He doing a miracle. Somebody praise him. I gotta go. Sit down for a second. Let me do this. Let me do this.
Oh, Basha. Some of y'all got it. Some of y'all got it. Some of y'all got it. Some of y'all got, got it. I can see it in your praise. Some of y'all got it. Some of y'all waiting on something to happen. Others have stepped in the water. Somebody got it, Rhonda. I can feel it. I can feel the virtue. I can feel the presence of God. I can feel him moving by his spirit. I can feel life coming back in the waters. I can feel praise coming back in the waters. I can feel testimonies coming back in the waters. I can feel fire coming back in the waters. I can feel intercession coming back in the waters. I can feel victory coming back in the waters. I see wholeness up coming back in the water. I see peace up coming back in the water. I see joy up, joy up, joy like a river, joy like the river of Jordan. Somebody shout! Come on here. Gotta go. Oh, that Sunday. Sit down, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this right quick. Hi, Come on, something is happening in here. Something is breaking in here. I feel it in that balcony. You better not act like you in a balcony. You better find you a space and you better start praising God. Because I hear the Lord saying uh, that what some of y'all need, uh, only power from God uh, is going to break you free. Uh, hey, I give a Lord saying uh, that what you need, uh, it's in the praise. Uh, it's in the praise. Uh, it's in the old shout. so I can close. Sit down and I close. How about show you? How about see how about show you? I'm going to see how much prophetic revelation y'all got. The Bible said as Saul turned to leave, as Samuel turned to leave, Saul pulled what was behind him. My tassels fell off the front. Which means what y'all got is what came out of the spirit. He ain't passing you by. He ain't rejecting you. He's dropping it off. Y'all better give God. You don't hear what I'm saying. I just wish maybe Jesus, you don't know what I just said. You don't know what I just said. He just dropped your life up in the here and now of the power of God. He just dropped your mind up in the here and now of the power of God. Y'all better give him a shot. I 
I got to go. Sit down. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. I got to do something. I got to do something. I don't show ya. Somebody in this building. I just want to know who, who the Holy Ghost is preaching to. That you in this building right now. And you feel like something that shifted in your life. No, I just. No, no, I'm not talking about with your head. Because I'm going to tell you how you know something shifted in your life. Because your mind started talking to you. Saying, why are you praising God? Why are you doing da 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 da? That's how you know it just happened. That's how you know it just happened. Because guess what? He can't argue with the heart. Because that's Jesus. I don't think y'all hear what I'm saying. God, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. I said, if you believe that the Lord done shift something in your life, open up your mouth and tell the Lord, thank you. No, 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 wait. Wait a minute. I just said, tell the Lord thank you. Now let me tell you how I can prove that something did shift. Hmm. How many people in this building just then said thank you, Lord? Raise your hand. If you said thank you, Lord. Hold a minute. Scientists have proven that the body Pastor, is in a constant state of 50 50. 50% 50 of you is living, and 50% of you are already deteriorating, preparing yourself to die. Medina, watch this. It said that the scientists put a bowl of water in the middle of a table, and they started speaking over the water, and they started saying all kind of things that was bothering them and things that they were depressed about and things that were going on in their personal lives. And they signed affidavits that nothing that they say would leave the building. And they start talking about all of their worries, son. And they took the bowl of water and they put it in a freezer and froze it. The next day when they took it out, they put it under the microscope and it had all kind of charcoal black pieces all in it. Medina, they took the same bowl of water and set it back on the table and they all came back in the room the next day. And they said, now what we're getting ready to do, we want to talk about everything that we're grateful about and everything that we're thankful for. And they did that, and when they did that, they put the water back in the freezer and froze it. When they took it out and put it under the microscope, it had things in it like crystals that looked like diamonds. And medical doctors said that the body is made up of 80% water, which governs and tells the body that you're going to survive. If there's negativity spoken over your life and in your life, it automatically begin to tell your cells, start shutting this body down because this person don't want to live. But the medical scientists have proven this woman of God that it takes 1% of a positive grateful heart to shift the life over into rehabilitation, which means if a person says, thank you one time, you just shifted your whole body into a point where your neons and trillions of cells is saying, live, 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 live. I'm not giving y'all. So every time you tell the Lord, thank you, everything that was dead, it starts shouting in the spirit realm, I'm going to live. I'm going to live. I shall live and not die. Thank you. Somebody tell them thank you. For the next 30 seconds, tell them thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It feels bad. I'm going through the fire. But Lord, I thank you. I'm going through a storm. But Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody, 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Something in you, it's coming back to life. Something in you is restoring the mind. 
It's restoring the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I surrender all. I surrender all. It changes. Y'all don't believe it. It just changed. Everything in your life just changed. I just wish I had somebody to praise him. I just gave you facts. That ain't no fake prophecy. Everything in your life just changed. Every fiber in your body just changed. I will show you. Somebody bless him. Oh, wave your hands in the atmosphere. Changing. Changing. Come on, you in an atmosphere of change. Hey. You in an atmosphere of change. Hey. Come on. The fibers in your body. You're being healed. Because somebody is pronouncing in the atmosphere positive words over your life. Oh, Baba Baba Boschete, Esada Boschanda, Hasiande, Andora Boschanda. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. I shall not die. I shall not die but live. My life will declare the glory of God. Hobashande, Hamashia, Hamashia, Hamashia. Oh, Yabasete, Oh, Bashaya, Oh, Masia. Lift your hands up all over the building. What you surrendering to? is the fact that God I thank you for this night I thank you for this moment I thank you and I surrender my life to you because I know this is prophecy tonight over my life lift your hands up in that balcony in that balcony I sense the glory of God and some of you all are feeling disconnected because you're in the balcony. But let me tell you something. I know what I see. The glory cloud is up there. You better not miss God. Lift your hands up all over this building. Lift your hands up. Come on, everybody. Lift your hands up. I surrender. Yes, Lord. I surrender. So bow down, some of us with our hands lifted. We present ourselves to you, our lives completely and totally. We surrender to you, and our answer, the word of agreement between heaven and earth, is yes. Whatever you want to do, Lord, we say yes to you.
say yes. We surrender. We say yes. We surrender. We say yes. We surrender. We say. Yes. to but you have to say it some of you've been running from God but this is the moment I say we're not running from him I surrender we're running to him come on say it. I say yes not running from the call anymore not content to sit on the sidelines anymore you know God's spoken to you He's given you a dream. He's given you a purpose. You must say yes. You must say yes. Oh. Come on, this has to be a crime. This has to be a crime. Say I surrender. I'm not running anymore. But I say yes.
that to the Lord tonight. Can we sing it to him tonight? Say, I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender all. Some of us are bowed down, some of us with our hands lifted. We present ourselves to you. Our lives completely and total. Somebody just lift your hands up all we over the building. To you and I'll answer the word of agreement between heaven and earth. Lift yes. your hands up all over the building. Whatever you want to do, Lord, we say yes. Tell to the Lord you. I surrender. We say yes. Come on, somebody tell him yes. We surrender. Can you give him a new yes? We say yes. I just heard him say, give me a new yes. We surrender. We give him a new yes. yes. Give him a new yes. We surrender. Come on, give him a new yes. We say yes. We surrender. Everything in this building have been spiritually restored and renewed. All I need is one person to say, you talking to me. All I need is one person to say, prophetess, you came to Charlotte for me. Because I can feel my baby coming back to life. I can feel my praise coming back. I can feel my fervor coming back. I can feel my faith being restored. Now I know that God ain't left me. God ain't left me. God ain't left me. Everything about me is in the plan of God. Somebody give him a praise if you know he came for you. You know God's spoken to you. He's given you a dream. He's given you a purpose. You must have You must have Come on, this has to be a crime. Oh, this has to be a crime. Say, I surrender. I'm not running anymore. But I say, I surrender. With all and nothing. Giving you my all and all. I say,
And it is so. A miracle you will see. A miracle. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. Everything, everything is settled. Hmm. Done deal. Done. Lord, some of us are bowed down, some of us with our hands lifted. We present ourselves to you, our lives completely and totally. We surrender to you, and our answer, the word of agreement between heaven and earth is yes. Whatever you want to do, Lord, we say yes to you. We say yes. We surrender. We say yes. We surrender. We say yes. Surrender, we say yes, we surrender, we say yes, we surrender, our answer is yes.
Somebody get God a shout right there. Some of you don't even know what you're saying yes to, but you have to say it. Somebody get God a shout right there. Some of you have been running from God, but this is the moment. I say, we're not running from him. I surrender. We're running to him. Come on, say it. I say yes. Not running from the call anymore. Not content to sit on the sidelines anymore. You know God's spoken to you. He's given you a dream. He's given you a purpose. You must say yes. You must say yes, Lord. Come on, this has to be a crime. This has to be a crime. Say, I surrender. I'm not running anymore, but I say yes. Some of us are bowed down, some of us with our hands lifted. We present ourselves to you, our lives completely and totally. We surrender to you, and our answer, the word of agreement between heaven and earth is yes. Whatever you want to do, Lord, we say yes to you.
presence in this building. Sabo sete be sin de rene mene and sante. Sunaman sete be. Sunaman da bo shende. Hamamona man sende ne me shende. Hinama shende. no fear no fear no fear I'm going to do it the way I told you I'm going to do it. Bobby, I sit Bobby, I shut up. I need your worship tonight. I don't even need you to shout. I just need your worship. Because I'm going to do it the way I told you I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Sita mashanta ma de de makate de de sita da bahanda da bahanda ika de de boksha da makate de de bahete ba ika da mande la de ya shaya Come on, this has to be a crime. This has to be a crime. In this building tonight, I sense a presence. I sense a presence that only I have felt in my prayer room. And almost see, my Jesus is here. I said my Jesus is here. I said my Jesus is here. I yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I see the angelic presence in this room and let me tell you what that means when angels show up. When angels show up is because they've already fought through the second and the third ram and they came with the victory in their hand. Somebody better give God a praise. Angels show up as messengers. Somebody better give God a praise. I give the Lord saying Jeremiah 32, I come with the deeds. You got it in your hand. It's in the building. Somebody praise him. Help. Praise him. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody praise him. The angels are here. The heavenly host is here. He came with your answer. I am a second. Oh, shut up. There's a presence in this building. That even I don't know what to do with. I feel that there's a move of God here. I feel that there's a move of God here. Do anybody else feel what I feel? Do anybody else feel what I feel? I feel a move of God. Head on my sate. Hobby Ashande. Hey, Sarah Shendo. 
I'm going to move a God here. I just need somebody to raise your hands. Wait a minute. If you agree, if you agree, go to the next song after that one, Jeremy. If you agree with me that I feel a move of God here. I want you to raise your hand if you're saying, Prophetess, I feel a move of God here. No. I feel a move of God here. No, I feel a move of God here. No, you don't just have your hand up. You're saying, <coughs> this is what I need, to, I need to understand. Are you saying the Lord can interrupt us? Because I got some things that I need to do. But are you saying the Lord can interrupt us because he's chosen this moment for us to press into his presence? How many people in this building are saying, I know God ain't finished with me yet? No, I'm serious. How many people in this building are saying that? Let me tell you something, I haven't done this in years. Go to the next one. I haven't done this in years. My God, I feel your presence, Jesus. But I'm looking at people in the spirit. I see faces. I see the spirit of the Lord just called it your loved ones. I see them in the spirit. Let me tell you what it means when I see their faces. When I see their faces, they're in God, which means they're being delivered right now. No, I think, I, I, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I see they're being delivered right now. They're being set free right now, miraculously. Miraculously. No, miraculously. Miraculously. So, somebody better give God a praise because I know what I feel. Miraculously. It's a miracle that's happening. They're being snatched out of the hands of the enemy. Because specifically, I know Somebody give him a shout. Specifically in America. The Somebody give him a shout. Nation on the earth. The Somebody give him a shout. The the no, I know what I feel in this building. And I double dare you to shout their name. I double dare you to start shouting their names. Start shouting their names. Start calling their names. Call their if we names. The words of Jesus. He said, take no thought of what you will eat what you will drink or what you will wear. Call their names. And your father knows that you have Call their names. Call their names. Because the Holy Ghost said you the prophet. He said you the prophet. Call them forth. Call them out of grave. Call them out of bondage. Call them out of depression. I feel it. I feel it. Come on. Don't get tired. Call them. I just heard the Holy Ghost said the whole family. No, you don't hear me. I just heard the Holy Ghost said the whole family. The whole family. Uncle James, the whole family. He said, this is my time for all of them. For all of them to come to another dimension. That's why it's happening. It's happening because everybody get ready to be set free. Somebody give God a praise. 
I said the whole family, the whole family. You better move over because your loved ones is getting ready to be shouting in church next to you. Your brother who said he'll never come to church, he already said. Oh, somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Go to the next playlist. Go, somebody praise him. William McDowell, the second one. Somebody praise him. I feel that thing. I feel it breaking. It broke already. It broke already. God said, see them delivered. God said, this time when you praise him, see them set free. See them preaching. See them prophesying. the Holy Ghost right now we just need to take a minute we need to take a minute and praise him I'm, I'm serious I'm serious we need to take a minute and praise him next song we need to take a minute and praise him I'm telling you we need to take a minute y'all I feel this thing 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 I can hear the sounds of the feet of the ministering angels running up and down Charlotte I hear them I hear them I hear them I hear them there's a step happening in the spirit there's an onslaught attack happening now watch what I say what that song is playing prophetically because where your mouth just shifted your family they ain't never going back to the way they used to be you better give God a praise they don't know it yet but you better make the announcement tonight I just said a brief I just said a brief I just said a brief I just said them brief
tell three people I ain't never going back to the way I used to be. <laughs> Come on, tell somebody I ain't never going back. Cause all I want is Jesus. <laughs> awesome in this building right now. How'd I don't cost supper? All I want is you, Jesus. All I want is you, Jesus. Let the weight of your presence fill this You are my Lord. Yes, you are. 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 Let your weight so come that we can barely breathe. People of God, your glory. the presence of God is in this building. There's two things I have to do. Give it to her, Jesus. 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 I don't shout. Take me a little bit deeper. All I want is you. by his presence is in this building. Not even shifting his presence. Not even shifting it. But it is our worship. Oh, Lord. And the Lord is he has convinced me that through the capacity of the new heart, the more I obey him, the more he will be made manifest. The more I obey him, the more I tell him, yes, Lord. The more I do what he tells me to do. He will be made manifest. And the world will get a chance to meet the Jesus I know. Yes, the one that gives instant response. The one in whom there is no delay. Because while he's moving by his spirit, doing it for somebody else if I reach out and touch it. And that's why people don't understand why 
when you look across the room and you see somebody praising God and you can see God on them, that's the point right there where you ought to break out. Because wherever you see God moving, all you got to do is reach out and touch Jesus. The woman that got healed with the issue of blood, he wasn't thinking about her. His mind wasn't even on her. He was going to do something else, but he was moving. And when she saw him passing by, she reached out and touched him. And that's how you keep it alive when you look across the room and you see somebody else praising God, you just break out and say, God, take this right here. God, work this out right here because I see you moving, Jesus. I'm going to reach out and touch you. My circumstance say I shouldn't. The disciples said she shouldn't have. But my issue pressed me to touch a moving Jesus. And I'm telling you for a fact, my Jesus is moving in this room tonight. I don't think you just heard. I said, my Jesus is moving in this room tonight. And behind this night, no eyes have seen. No, you ain't got to praise God. I'm going to tell you right now. You ain't never seen this. Some stuff God didn't give you to prophesy because you ain't never seen it. Somebody better give God a praise knowing that what God has given me to do for my life. No I have seen it. No ear have heard it. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men. That's why nobody could prophesy to me. Because no eyes have seen it. While you being broken hearted because you waiting on somebody to give you a word. Bless God that they didn't. Because this one, he didn't show it to nobody. Somebody give him a praise. Somebody bless him. This one, he didn't show it to nobody. This one is coming straight from the throne. This one ain't gonna pass through the hands of man. This one coming straight from the throne. This one ain't gonna be trusted into the hands of a person that can see partially and prophesy partially. This one is coming from the sanctuary of my God. Somebody need to give him a shout if you believe it. You are my reward. All I want is you. All I the reward of worship is God. All I want is you. When he spoke to me, yes, blessings come. But the last night, is God. All I, want is you. I do what my Jesus tell me to do. You are my when he spoke to me last night and I obeyed him I have one I have one thing in my head and in my heart that causes me to walk in confidence and assurance is my obedience to God. Because I show him that he can trust me. He can trust me. He can trust me. And I hear him. And when he speaks to me, I move in what he says, even when I don't understand it. And even when it makes no sense. 
people in this room, me even coming in this building to preach was miraculous. I just had surgery on Monday. And the enemy said, call and tell them you can't come. And I said, I walk in the miraculous. It's heart over matter. And I feel no pain. I feel no pain. 